What's up guys, this is the Wolf Moon and today I'm bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round off where we left off, we have pretty much gutted uh, Persia as a faction. We've captured uh, we captured Zahedan, we're laying siege to Persia, we only have um, they only have Azerbaijan left and they have sent their forces forward in an attempt to try and raid us into submission. However, Hartman's not going to take that lying down. Oh no. We are going on the offensive, so let us attack. So Hartman's been reinforced Gurkhas, which are damn good infantry. And what I, they're what, what I really want to use the assaulting cities in Europe. They've not got as much defence or as much damage on the charge, but the melee attack is 15, which is. A so you want to be. You want to be. You want to make sure that. Uh, that you're not sending units. Well, you want to make sure that you don't put uh, Gurkhas in as in in the same position that you would put Grenadiers in, because you do have to bear in mind they don't have as much defence. Like you, you don't want them getting shot to pieces before they get to the line. I mean, this is a bit of a dodgy position. So let's put one gun out here on the flank. Let's form up our other line. Then we've got our Gurkhas and our Pikes. So let's put them in position. So check it, compare it to Pikemen. Melee attack 13, charge bonus 3, defense 17. So they've got much higher defense. And my guys do much more damage on the charge and much more damage in combat. And they do have a small shield, but they're not wearing armor, really. God damn, am I, am I interested in using my pikes? Using my Gurkhas. Let's keep the Gurkhas together. Put the pikes a bit further up to support. Let's deploy the howitzers. Deploy cavalry on each flank. But let's not deploy them so close to the front of that foot artillery unit. Okay, so let's just push the Gurkhas up into a flank position. Screened by my heavy cavalry. Let's take this wing and start to march them up. Including moving up my cavalry and my pikes. And to be honest, we're going to march up this flank too. Because their army's pretty knackered. Like, look at it. So much so, let's just smash my heavy cavalry straight into them. So we've got heavy cavalry charging in. Their light cavalry is not going to stand. Now they're moving up in full force. He's meant to capture this ridge line. Go, go, gadget Gurkhas and send my cavalry. Yeah, they're not going to get my guns because I left a gap. Unless these guys can fire off canister shot first. Yeah, no, this is really bad. Oh, thank God. They are camel gunners, so I suppose they're a bit weak. Charge in the Gurkhas. Claw down his camel gunners off of their camels. Probably going to just stop firing our artillery now. Let's 
get our general further up. Let's try to kill the gunners. The general's bodyguard is routed. Let's try to kill this other, this other gunner. Yep, he's dead. Absolutely continue. Hold on. Speed up time. Go on, Gurkhas. Take him down. Get my Gurkhas out of the way now. Oh god, they're gonna get charged. <laughs> now they're all gonna rout, they're gonna rout. Eh. Get Harman to attack some of these musketeers. You guys chase them down. but it's a decisive victory and the destruction another Persian army 400 men remaining they've crossed back over the river so we'll push up Let's pick up some replenishment so these guys I want these guys are in position waiting for these guys to advance up you are probably gonna raid these villages so I'm not gonna bother upgrading you You guys are replenishing, and plus you've got cavalry to catch up. And when these guys are ready, they're going to start the march up to Azerbaijan. Things are going rather well. To be honest, I'm probably going to disband these mercenaries. Just don't really need them. Upgrade the College of Divinity. Upgrade the roads. Do I think all of our roads are upgraded? Sweet. Let's hit enter. Well, we've got more money pouring in than we know what to do with. Building up a hell of a war chest. Demanding tech. Oh, France is hostile to us, so... Oh, nuts. <laughs> I absolutely didn't mean to agree to that. Um, great. So I've given them grape shot and carcass shot, I think. Certainly not good, especially if they're hostile to us and we're going to be at war with them. So we've helped them on their technology away. Do not click uh, diplomacy actions unless you're 100% sure you know what you're doing and aren't slightly sleepy. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad decision. It looks like the 13 colonies have been destroyed. And... Oh. The Prussians are still holding on in Europe, although it looks like the Ottomans are doing a grand job because that they're not going to be expecting us. Because they've taken... Uh, Venetian... Not Venetian. Austrian territory. That's still... Pretty sure that's still Ottoman. my... The fob watch pointer. That is. Yeah, the Persians don't know what to do. Oh yeah, just, just auto that. Seeger! They've not, they've not fallen into my trap and pushed forward towards the river. upsetting because I was looking forward to a lovely, lovely, lovely river battle. It's a Corlander on the move. Okie dokie.
Yep, so Morocco was... Oh, hold on. There is a port in this region Multan. that has not yet been developed. Yeah, upgrade the port. Hey! Niles, I forgot you forgot all about you, Niles. Sorry. Let's embark on them aboard ship. We will deposit them off the shore to advance up towards Eshvahan. Just push up and let's get our sloop back to port. Hartman's got courageous leader, plus three morale in battles. One of our ministers has got no sense of shame, plus one happiness, nobility. Lovely. Our spy is still doing okay. These guys are still replenishing. They're probably going to attack me at some point. So let's keep upgrading our buildings. Uh, we don't have consumed firing, so we can't upgrade the army building in Mysore. Weaver's Cottage, that's not D&D. Got new roads. Lahore, you can have a new engineer school. Cannot build last tier plantation buildings because we don't have steam engines, at least not yet. Just keep going with the buildings. Great craft workshop. Afghanistan's actually not a bad region because you've got three villages. You guys push up, then let's repair our buildings. Fleet arrives. Okay, do you have <gasps> we do have enemies. Persia. I mean that's a rubbish fleet, so let's just auto it. Nope. I do not want your bridge. So we will take it temporarily for our purposes. That's added yet more ivory. She's it's our only ivory, actually. But damn, we're getting a lot of money from from trade and we certainly need to invest it wisely. France is still dirt roads for Paris. Nice one. Okay. To be honest, it's probably good enough for Navy. Let's bring them to sea. Let's upgrade. Strasland. Told an admiral, you look like Niles, you're Niles' brother. Send him to South America. Let's have a look what's there. Let's start to build. I think I've got like four rates to build it to act as trade ships. They look right, they're not too big, they're not too small. Not brigs. Good, so the gunners are in. Ooh. Just the one then. Let's get an infantry unit out and let's put these guys into Torg's army. Sweet. So you, you can march up to the army of Sahedin. To be honest, that army's probably ready just to start marching up to Azerbaijan. And let's replenish you. Oh, it's just one unit of line infantry. Let's go take out Firuz, Agsapur. I mean, that's a pretty simple battle there, because they're pretty much dead anyway. And you're probably going to be the same. Yeah, you are the same. Everybody replenish. Ooh, but you, Conrad, you can hit this last army. Which is in reasonable shape, but it's the last main field army we've got in our territory. Do them the honour of attacking them rather than autoing. I don't mind autoing, but I don't mind I, I don't mind autoing when it's a and if it's gonna be a boring battle for you guys to see. 
um, like those first two, they were going to be easy wins. The armies were really depleted, cheap. Um, I at least want to get some action in. So, ooh. Just put the artillery way out of the way. Back here. Go to go for our usual no 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 skill needed formation. It's difficult to be too tactical when you know that the army is in a terribly weak position. I, mean, I don't know if that's just me, but like, there's no way that your tactics are as good in a battle like this compared to, you know, multiple stacks of French infantry near Paris. Like, I don't even care about their cavalry. I mean, granted, I am running cavalry in. I'm not worried about it, because look at them. Okay, they'll interrupt me, because I'll form a whole bunch of squares. But... Like them. Square. You. Square. Here. Just turn these fusiliers into squares. Actually, no, don't worry about it. We're about to kill. So not for you anyway. Shattered, broken. Bring them back as bait for that cavalry in case they decide to come back. And let's move our cavalry in a position to. Oh god damn, just turn you guys fireball off. Move you out of the way. Ooh, the first water. Too bad that we're about to get hit by the tenth horse guard to the horse guard cavalry. Poor swines. to order. Let's get you involved. Right, you guys kill that, inf that cavalry man. everyone. Stupid, he got killed by friendly fire. God damn it, Conrad. Oh well. You have been replaced by the glorious General Krull. 
All hail Krull and his glorious new regime. Shot the hell out of the Jimmer's bodyguard. Oh, let's end it on that. Bittersweet pill of losing Conrad. Swines, swines, swines the lot of them. We lost a great general. Let's recruit a new one. Hind, I don't Hinderstrom. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it, but it sounds sounds right. That's what's more important, I think. Sweet. All of these men march up towards the new border with the Ottoman Empire. Let's see what. Let's have a look at what the diplomatic repercussions will be in this game about declaring on Dagestan. Persia, Russia, Georgia. Yeah, so it just brings brings Russia in, but we're allied with Russia. Let's try trade with Austria. So we're pretty much trading with every major power. Oh yeah, we've already done that. Sorry, comrade, he died in a field in Afghanistan. Oh, there he is. Well, there he was. He died in a field in Afghanistan, far from home. Oh, three new techs researched in one turn. So we've done all this, we've done this, yeah, we've done all that. Sweet, end turn. I like seeing all the units completing their moves. So the Spaniards have taken out the natives. Might that leave... Well, I was about to say, might there be an opportunity to take Greece? But I've got no troops there to really exploit it. France will be an interesting enemy. Because they are... They own the Americas. They are... They're a big fish amount of money like what, I've got nine, we've got almost 100 grand in the bank and I've got nothing to spend it on mm -hmm. Russia's stealing technology Persians are moving down south but that's why we've got another army to intercept Call a navy, looking suspiciously strong, but it's probably full of fifth rates. And here's the Greeks. Oh, it's the Greeks though in Greece. I am a dum dum. So I was wondering if could the Spaniards and the French have knocked out all the native factions, does that mean the Greece is up for grabs? But apparently not. Well definitely not. Maybe Patras. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Fort Albany. Select Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. It's probably not enough to beat, no. Those damn priests. Just got a new port. Let's make it a trade port, just like all the others. So now we've got steam engines. We're going to spend a whole lot of cash upgrading. I mean, yeah, I'll make your steam dry dock. Upgrading lots of our industry to be steam powered industry. Steam powered cloth mills. Steam engine factories upgrading mines. This is where all the money's going to go, and this is going to be what saves us when we declare war on the rest of the world. All this tax income that they cannot, that war cannot directly impact. A sugar plantation. But think how much money this is going to bring. We're already making loads of money and then suddenly steam engines have begun a thing. 
So we've got a handful of turns before we get to... Yeah, so if I march you up... I mean... Yeah, so everyone's still marching on. New town, Hyderabad, I've already upgraded you. Okay, tech advances is our next big one. Or dense, I want you to research light infantry doctrine. To get onwards down towards riflemen and sharpshooters. Cambridge, carry on with your with your uh, maritime, with your naval techs. Okay, you don't I don't have Wait, oh, I don't. Well, it's because it's I've not built a steam engine factory. I can't research that. To be honest, there's not a whole lot left to research. Our intellectual advancements are huge. Ah, yes. London, all your mills and factories. Let's make you a steam dry dock. Ireland, you need to, you haven't got enough. Oh, I haven't got enough money. So I've spent all my money before I've even had the chance to go over to the Americas and upgrade all these uh, factories. That's one thing I do want to bear in mind is I have no army here. Let's just start to build up a force just in case someone tries to attack our Caribbean holdings. Whereas at the moment, everything else is pretty darn secure. So you move up. I mean, yeah, you get this Curacy Air unit to join them as well. Two turns to surrender. And to be honest, I could just attack them. I think they just will. They got mortars, but the rest of their army is is absolutely toss. So let us assault Esfahan. And then this all all matter. Because they're not gonna have many troops in Azerbaijan. And I may end up having to recruit more troops in the Middle East. Because I've got five armies, I think. One to go clear out North Africa. I'll probably need to send two into Ankara and over to Istanbul, then two up into Russia, if that's what I decide to do. So let's put some... Let's put our gun batteries here to blow a hole in the wall. Howitzers can sit in this defilade, mostly defiladed. Let's put sea poison reserves. Sea poison, um... Some mercenaries to hold the fort, or to take the breaches, and then send guys out on the flank. Ready to attack. Let's keep the cavalry safe, let's keep the general safe. So all my guns blow a hole in the wall. My mortars start dropping shells in the centre. Oh, under the sneeze! Pardon me. So let's speed up time. Just because it's the usual rigmarole. There we go. Dropping out of the shells on the centre. To be honest, I might just push them. Well, I'll wait for a breach to be made first before I push them up. But then again, there might not actually be much of a fort left if I don't. Waters are engaging. So you guys need to run. Let's bring the cavalry up into this as well. Just until they make a breach. Mm. 
mercenaries aren't, aren't, aren't having it. You guys cover the gate in that case. Mortars are doing their wicked way, having their wicked way with my troops. You guys, these grenadiers are going to join the storming companies just to move straight in. I want my cavalry to blow through. I want my cavalry to blow through and immediately start attacking these mortars. Because this could still go horribly wrong. Turn carbines off. Too late. Still got some shots off. the guns. Just keep driving in. There we go. Nope, they keep wanting to get dragged back into this fight. There you go, General's been killed. And they've broken. The city is ours! Sweet. Yeah, let's end the battle there, because that was a nice... Simple on that to crack how much. If they focus their mortar fire on one unit, they can just really do a lot of damage. So let's see. Apart from this guy, there are no other armies on the field. So let's destroy this university. Because that'll bring your clamour for reform down a lot. Can't repair any buildings because we have no money. God, you have two universities. You have a traditional two traditional universities. Religious unrest is meant to go down, but I'm not sure why. Let's before we end the end the episode, let's end the turn and let everything tick on one more turn. All my troops stream north, stream west. Good stuff. Uh, no, I'm not falling for this again. No. Go away, France. You're terrifying and spectacular. So are we. And our allies are better than your allies, I think. We're both allied with Poland, so it'd be interesting to see who sides with who. Pushing against the Prussians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I may have to raise some new armies in North America. Not North America, North Africa or in the Middle East. I've got enough 
But that's in. We got the Ottoman end turn grind. Yep, yeah, they see what's happening. Goes at the Russians. Probably sending a ship over to. Ah. Probably sending a ship over to, to their holdings in Jamaica, I suspect. Stan is not happy, well, I can understand, because we're going to declare war on them. can't wait for all those factories to be built because that's going to make us a ridiculous amount of tax income. And then, even then, when those are finished, and this is the future in quite a while campaign, but once we... Classes have written uh, a letter of demands to your national leader. I'm sure they're happy now. Meh, mostly. No, oh, you're still a bit grumpy. I can understand that because you are a actual, actual big country. Let's build a coaching in. Let's build a church school. Let's build a craft workshop. Can you hit them? No, not in time. Let's repair this pleasure garden. Upgrade the iron mine. Let's build some more. Oh, they didn't have any. They've not really not done much investment here. Let's rebuild the port. Yep, you're still exposed as well. So let's carry on with our investment chain. Oh, I yeah, can't get the next one yet. I don't really need to build all of these military buildings everywhere, but it makes me feel more secure knowing that around wherever I'm fighting in the world, I've got areas that have the top areas that have the top uh, military military producing buildings. Steam engine factory, well, that's pretty much all I can actually build at the minute. Okay, everyone's everyone's rolling on. I mean, no. You could just could take him out. Sweet, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.